I think all my neighbors came running outside with their lawnmowers when they saw that I was filming a video out here. So let's see how this goes. But anyway, I got a question for you. Have you ever grilled a pizza? That's right, grilled, like on one of these things. Well, if you haven't, you really ought to give it a try. It'll open up a whole new world of pizza possibilities and expand your pizza repertoire. And it gives you total control over what goes in your pizza and on your pizza. So what I'd like to do today is walk you start to finish through the pizza grilling process using one of the recipes from my new cookbook, The Harvest Baker. But first, here's an important little insider tip that I think you'll appreciate and it'll help you get your expectations in order. And that's this, your grilled pizza is never gonna look as good as grilled pizzas that have been fawned over and fussed with for three days by food stylists and food photographers. And I can prove it to you. So here's a photo of the recipe we're going to be making today. It's called the, the grilled flatbread with hummus and veggies. And this is the way it looks on page 120 in the Harvest Baker. Looks fabulous, doesn't it? I mean, you could eat it off the page. And here's a photo of the recipe the first time I tested it for the Harvest Baker. Yes, I admit the differences are kind of subtle, but you can probably make them out. Now you can use store-bought dough if you're not a bread maker, but there is a food processor pizza dough recipe in the Harvest Baker that's a cinch to make. I just love it. It takes just a minute or two to mix it up and maybe another minute of hand kneading to finish it off. It makes a gorgeous dough that's really easy to work with. Now one of the reasons this pizza tastes so incredible is that I grill the vegetables. I use thickly sliced eggplant, a green pepper, and a sliced onion. And when those are done, I set them aside, then I scrape off the pepper skins before I cut the peppers into strips. There are a couple of ways to get your dough onto the grill. You can dust a wood cutting board or a pizza peel with cornmeal and then just slide it right onto the grill. Or you can lift the dough off an oil baking sheet and onto the grill. That's simple too. You can do one pizza at a time or two depending on the size of your grill. Now within about 45 seconds, the dough should start to bubble. Grill the dough on that first side for about four or five minutes and then flip it over. Now brush the grilled side with olive oil and then smear on lots of hummus. The hummus is essentially your sauce for the pizza and you won't believe how good it tastes on here. Next, you add your eggplant slices, the roasted peppers and the onions. You hit up the top with a drizzle of olive oil and then scatter on the crumbled feta cheese. Cover and grill the pizza for about three or four more minutes, but keep an eye on that bottom crust and rotate the pizza if it starts to get scorched. And that, my friends, is one good pizza that you made. And incidentally, if uh, hummus and eggplant's not your thing, you can put anything on a grilled pizza, and that's one of the beauties of it. Uh, if you like just red sauce and cheese pizza, that's great too. It doesn't matter what you put on it, it's gonna taste fabulous. And incidentally, if you're looking at this video on my YouTube channel, uh, I hope you'll look for the recipe link below so you can go make this. Uh, that would be great. I think you'll really love it. Anyway, this is Ken Hadrick, Dean of the Pie Academy, and thanks for joining us here today. And by the way, if you're not a member of the Pie Academy, I hope you'll go to the website and sign up so we can stay in touch with, with regular videos and recipes and updates. Thanks much, and we'll see you here next time. Take care.